Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this video, we're going to take a look at what Cardano is doing and also what Bitcoin is doing, because, you know, we all know that Bitcoin is leading the way. Arguably, yes, Cardano in the recent weeks was not really related too much to Bitcoin, but this can and will change again. And I'm going to show you in this video why, because it has historically always been the case. So we're going to take a look at that. We're going to start with the Bitcoin chart. Then we're having a look at ADA USD together with some Cardano on-chain metrics or some more interesting data at least. And then we're going to take a look at the ADA BTC chart. And that is looking quite good in my view. Let's start with um, Bitcoin first. So let's go into Bitcoin here. And with Bitcoin here on the daily, you know what we can see, we are currently trading up here at the, um, pretty much at the tipping point of a resistance line. And I've just put that channel or you could even call it an ascending wedge which would be rather or slightly bearish because it's slightly converging here um, these two lines it's not really an accurate channel completely parallel but you know arguably you know it is an um, ascending wedge could also be a channel because you know it's not really converging too much so two near enough parallel lines which would rather be a channel but this allows us now by having one, two, three touch points here, that's definitely a valid trend line here. Down here we have, well, one touch point here and you've got various touch points here. So I would say, you know, that is a valid trend line as well. So we have identified a new channel here, which I think is very valuable because that allows us to identify um, where we are going. And that can ad identify and allow us as well to go into some nice trades, for example, when we get a pullback here, should we get a pullback again for Bitcoin? maybe back to the 50K or something. So um, that would then, you know, whenever you get back to like, a, when you have a pullback like that, that is a good trade entry. So that changes the perspective a little bit, gives us a bit of transparency and we can follow the price nicely along this channel. Now we need to see a breakout above this resistance line here, above this um, top of the channel to I think really see some um, very, very um, well gains to the moon basically. Um, otherwise we'll just probably stay in the channel here if we're trading on like that. Um, and you know, the, the longer a channel is going on for the weaker it gets. So I think we are quite early in identifying this channel here. We only made the third touch point. The thing is because <coughs> it gets weaker, these uh, resistance and support lines get weaker after time because then more and more traders will know about them and they will be more easily identified, you know, and then, um, more and more people will see them, take trades, and it just weakens these resistance and support lines after a while. So, um, however, we are getting uh, closer to the breakout. However, it looks like we failed the breakout, you know, and we're going to take a look at that um, in more detail now. We also here on the daily came into the overbought range nearly. So we're just having a little bit of a, a retracement here, still in an uptrend according to the ADX. On the MACD, we are making a slight reversal here at the moment, coming down a little bit, but overall, these indicators are still looking okay in my view. Um, if we go to the hourly chart, just to show you what I mean by um, we failed to break out, there you can see it. So we didn't quite get to, um, we didn't quite break through this channel at all anyway, so we couldn't get through. This was at around 58K, so we didn't quite get to the 58K. We managed to get to 57.8K, hit new resistance here. So this will be a new horizontal resistance area as well for us. Um, so yeah, we came up, made a new high, failed then to make a new high. That is why you can see a, um, a bearish divergence here as well on the hourly. Then we came back in. We're now pretty much close to the oversold range, but we fell back below that horizontal. And I told you that today that you know when we get through these levels back down again um, then we need to be, start to become careful you know break back down here I think if we break through the lower one then at least you know then we're making um, significant lower lows again and that could mean that short-term uptrend is broken and we could um, go down again maybe to this low here at around um, 47.9k or even back to this ascending trend line so it's good to have this ascending trend line here because first of all it is ascending it's going up will help the price go up but it also gives us some orientation doesn't it so i always find it quite good to have a clear pattern like that identified well let's go to cardano and um you know people have put in the comments today that bitcoin is no of no use when you look at cardano because they have moved 
Cardano has detached itself from Bitcoin, but I'm going to show you in a minute that this has historically always been the case, but it's gone the other way around then as well. And that is then normally when Bitcoin has, uh, when Cardano has then gone up in price. So with Cardano, again, again, not doing too much at the moment. We've got this triangle still within which we're trading. I've changed it a little bit um, just to account for new developments. You know, we've got this new trend line here. Unfortunately, we broke below this long-term uh, ascending trend line here that you can see we broke below it. Now, maybe within the week we get higher again and then um, on the weekly, it won't look like that. But at the moment, yeah, we've broken below it. From the new trend line here that gives us orientation, that new trend line here at around $2.10 has provided support as well. So that is looking um, not too bad. And yeah, we found support at least. So we're trading within this triangle again. Um, and um, yeah, that, again, that gives us some orientation here on the daily. We are below the, um, the bullish still. We have never, well, since middle of September, we haven't managed to get back into the bullish range on the RSI. So that is slightly um, bearish actually. And then here on the ADX, I told you that we have not yet managed to make a new bullish cross here. So we are in a downtrend actually in a sideways move at the moment. Um, and also here the MACD isn't looking too great. I think we're going to go back into the red, which would actually be a sell signal. So Cardano isn't looking too good on the ADA USD chart. Um, together with some of the other altcoins, you know, we, we, we came down a little bit. Um, and I understand that it's frustrating for a lot of people. So here currently you can see it on the hourly that we found nice support on this um, line. It looked like briefly that we were going through to the 203 level that I told you, you know, if we're losing this support level, then we'll probably go down to 203 where we found support before. And if we break through that, we get down to 191. But at the moment we seem to be holding well, came back into this triangle and um, seem to be finding support here at the 213 level again and the 213 again is a horizontal so that's not too bad um here we found support here here and we're finding support just now again on this horizontal so that is looking good uh, in my view at least we find some support here but i can't get around the you know just my, my assumption that we just need to see that lower price for us to build again um a new momentum but maybe that's just me ADA uh, BTC, well, no, before we get to ADA BTC, just wanted to show you this chart. And that just shows the correlation to Bitcoin and the price for this is Cardano. So we always had phases, you can see that, where the correlation to BTC, and that is the blue line here, always dropped. It dropped, it dropped, it dropped, came up again as well. Yeah, so you always have these phases where ADA gets decoupled from Bitcoin for a while. And... To be honest, we've, we are currently in that phase as well. You can see that here. We are currently decoupling itself uh, from Bitcoin. The correlation to Bitcoin is very low. Um, it's at a very low point, um, but it's not unusual if we look back. I mean, we were even much lower here and that was in um, back in May this year. You know, we were very low on the correlation as well. Now, historically, and as you can see here, maybe on the chart, oftentimes after we dropped with the correlation to Bitcoin. After that, we saw a price increase. So you had it, um, and to be honest, it's not noticeable down here because in the beginning here, the price is very, very low to where we are now compared. But here, you had a drop here, and that was in January, a drop here of the correlation. And after that, the prices just went up. Um, and quite significantly, to be honest, from where we had a low here from 43 cents, um, well, it, it went all the way up to over 136, I think. Um, then here we had a drop as well, and we went up from 108 to 135. Now that wasn't massive, but here we had a drop as well. And we were in the process of really getting up with the price again. You can see that here. Um, after the, the drop of the correlation, we made a significant um, pump, really blow off top, really. And then we had a drop here and the price increase as well just after that. We had a drop here that was the most recent one in july and we had a mess this is where we went to the all-time high and now we've got a drop again so maybe what we're going to see now is a price increase um it just is based on the assumption you know and of on the observation of um, what we did in the past that usually after the uh, correlation or when the correlation went down that then the ada price went up as well there's one more thing i want to show you here as well which i found quite interesting and um, let me just find it quickly here this is um, 
the number of hodlers and there have never been that many hodlers at least not in the last year since october 2020 there have never been more ada hodlers than today people are just holding on to their cardano and it just shows the interest of people in the cardano world in the cardano ecosystem and that the community believes in cardano you know the long-term holders are holding on to it and you know you can see that last october here we um we started here with nearly 200k and we're now at around 250k addresses um and with the average time held of 1.9 years so i think it's really really good sign um, more and more people are becoming long-term holders for cardano and then you can see here the cruisers who are so-called cruisers are people who are holding cardano for one to 12 months and this has really gone up and bear in mind these people who are now cruisers they will become hodlers right so currently the average time held is 4.6 months um but yeah more and more people becoming cruisers so people are just holding on their ada which i find really good the number of traders is fluctuating and has gone down so these are the people who are holding ada for less than a month um and that is that's quite interesting i find um it just shows the power of um the power of um yeah the, the you know the people who believe actually in the cardano project um now let's go to the awtc chart because we have a really positive development and it just shows you as well this um correlation between bitcoin and cardano so at the moment obviously we are at a low of the correlation to bitcoin and also we've come down from all the way up here this is by the way the cardano btc chart so we've come to this ascending trend line and i showed you that yesterday we could draw a trend line here um, on the ada btc and historically you know at least since february 2021 whenever we had pullbacks to the line um and we had a buy signal these would have been good trade entries so after that it really went up nicely and the price for cardano really went up as well so basically in my view you know this is when when cardano outperformed bitcoin and here again we now had a pullback to this line and it looked briefly like we were getting below the line but we seem to have found support today now the daily candle hasn't closed yet but we can go to the hourly chart just to get a little bit more detail and to see what's actually happening as i said today it looked like we we're getting below it and <coughs> here it looked like that we were retesting it successfully and that we were going down further but luckily we had a nice engulfing green candle here that you know went above all the preceding price action here all of these candles very very powerful and since then we're actually moving away from this trend line and to me you know this is a potential first buy signal on this chart um the ada btc pair just showing that cardano is currently at least here starting to outperform bitcoin this is of course a very very tiny start and i would want to wait for a little bit more confirmation but this is already a good sign you I mean you can see these um peaks all the time here you know here as well um but overall we were here in a downtrend just touching that line so maybe that is now a a key reversal point um we can see here that we're getting back in the well this is the hourly chart only but we're getting back in the bullish range on the rsi but it might be worth having a look on the four hour chart um on the four hour the candle has also already closed within or above the line again that is quite important and we're seeing another green candle now emerging and we came back of the um i showed it to you yesterday the oversold area um <coughs> and it looks like you know if this continues we might make a long signal here on the adx and also on the macd line i think we are just having a bullish cross maybe in the next when the next candle comes up so overall that is looking good here on the daily i think we need to wait for a few more positive signals um, on the daily we are in the oversold range as well so it, it could potentially be a good trade entry on the ada btc pair just because we've come from this long long downtrend and we're just pulling back to this trend line so if you're looking for an interesting pair to trade that might be one again no financial advice you know you take always your own decisions but i want to make you aware of potential opportunities and the fact that we are now again like we were back here end of july in the um oversold range on the daily um on the daily rsi together with the opportunities that cardano has i think it is a, a really 
really interesting um, pair potentially to trade. So that is really what I wanted to show you now. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on this crypto journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.